Hi ladies, it's Kathy and today I'm doing a try on haul for some clothing pieces that I recently received from Chico's Talbots and Nordstrom. I'm trying them on for the very first time with you. Well, with the exception of one piece that I've shown on Instagram, but I thought it would be fun if I gave my first impressions on how I feel wearing them, how they fit, and if I like them or not. So if that sounds fun, sit back, relax, and let's enjoy the video. Before I get into the clothing pieces, I'm going to be keeping my jewelry constant all throughout all the changes. Just have some gold hoops on. I wanted to show you this bracelet. It's by Kendra Scott. It is a new piece of jewelry to me. I ordered it off of Nordstrom's before they closed in Canada. I will tell you I have large wrists. So I was a little concerned if it would fit properly. I have seven and a quarter inch, inch wrists and it fits fine. It's very comfortable. It's also available in silver. I wanted the silver, but Nordstrom didn't have it. So now that they're closed in Canada, I'll have to try and find it elsewhere. And for shoes, I'm keeping my Tory Burch Miller sandals on. They're just in a nude color. Okay, so the first item that we're going to talk about today is this iCat print dress from Chico's. I loved the print when I saw it on the model online and I thought that's perfect. I love a print because it, you know, hides my tummy. I love blue and I love white together. It was a perfect length and I thought that it was kind of a more dressy dress, but... <laughs> I did not expect to look like a hockey goalie wearing it and it's going back. I'm not keeping it, but I want to show you in case uh, you might like it for yourself. The thing that I don't like about it are these sleeves. I knew that they were supposed to be puffy, but I didn't think that they were going to be this puffy. It's just too much fabric. If it wasn't so voluminous there, I think it would be great. But unfortunately, it's just a little too too much fabric and I just, it makes me feel like I'm wide, like I'm a linebacker or, you know, a goalie wearing all their hockey pads. Do love the v-neck. You know that I love a v-neck. Uh, the material, not sure what it is. It feels like a cotton, but it's really, really good quality and it has two front pockets. Hits me just below my knee. I'm five foot four. And it's a really great quality dress, but I just find, like I said, it's just a little too poofy. So I'm gonna return it and hopefully I can find something a little more tailored um, with less, you know, poof in the, the sleeves. The other thing that I'm not crazy about with this dress is the back. It has a really weird pleat in the back. And I don't know if it's because it came wrinkled, uh, you know, when it was shipped to me or not, but it just, I don't know, gathers in a weird way in the back that is not flattering. Okay, so this next outfit is all from Chico's. Let's talk about the top first. It's their three quarter length top. I love their tops, very high quality, very comfortable. They fit me you know, almost like a glove, but the thing is on me, the sleeves are too long. They're not three quarter length. They're pretty much almost regular length. But the way that it falls, I mean, if I'm wearing some bracelets, it's not uh, too bad. I think I will keep this tee just because I like blue, I like the color, and I also think that it fits me nicely. It has a plain black, which is nice. I think it would look nice with jeans or even like some white shorts. So I'm definitely going to keep the top. The jeans that I'm wearing, I wasn't crazy about them when I first put them on and if something doesn't wow me, I'm not going to keep it. But as I had them on now for about five minutes, I can tell that they're sort of molding to my body. So they feel comfortable, but I just don't feel comfortable wearing them. I just don't think that they are, first of all, the right wash of jean for me. And second of all, the length. They're supposed to be a crop, but because I'm 5'4", which I could use more of a petite length, I just find that, I don't know, they just look like regular <laughs> length jeans that I turn the bottom up once. Not crazy about them. I think I'm gonna return the jeans and I'll look for maybe a pair on Talbots or I'll look again on Chico's. Maybe they have some new ones out now for spring. Um, they're high-waisted, but I would like them maybe an inch higher. 
because I usually like a nine inch waist. I'm not sure what the, the rise is on these jeans. I didn't measure them, but I can just tell from wearing my other jeans, they just fall a little low in the back. So you can see like my underwear, which I don't like, but it would be covered, you know, by a top that I'm wearing. But I guess the thing that I really don't like about them is the wash. And then the second negative for me would be the cut. Like I said, they're supposed to be cropping on me. They're not a crop. I also wanted to talk a little bit about the bra that I'm wearing. I'm not going to model it, but I'll show you a picture of it. Uh, this is by Wacol, and I really like Wacol bras and also Chantel bras. They are great if you have a bigger chest. They're very comfortable. This one has an underwire, and honestly, I don't even feel like I'm wearing anything. I have it in like a nude color. I think it might be like pink blush or something like that. So it goes great if you're wearing like a white shirt or a white t-shirt in the summertime. Um, I just think it's very flattering and I just wanted to mention the bra. And the sandals I've been wearing throughout the video are by Tory Burch. They're very comfortable. They are flat so there's not a lot of support. But I wear them all summer long. I have them in uh, this kind of beige color black color and then last week I quickly had to spend some gift cards on Nordstrom's before their Canadian website closed so I ordered a darker uh, brown pair to have so once I receive them I'll be sure to show them to you but the thing that I like about these sandals they have a tong or a thong whatever you call it, goes between the two toes they come in a multitude of colors they have some really nice red ones uh, I've seen yellow, lots of colors, but I think they're very stylish and they can easily dress up like a jeans outfit and they go great with shorts. Okay, so this is a top from Talbot's. I am not crazy about it. it. To me, it feels like a maternity top. It's just, I don't know. It's their tensile short sleeve top. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna send it back because what I would have to pay for shipping to send it to a store, then I'd probably be in the red. So I may make it work and then I'll just like resell it on Posh later. There's a couple of things I'm not crazy about. First of all, not crazy about the, um, the cut of the, the shirt. It looked totally different on the model. And that's one beef I have with Talbots. I wish that they had more plus size models wearing their clothes because they always just show smaller size ladies wearing, you know, the clothes that go up to plus size. Generally, I do like Talbots, but I'm not crazy about this one. However, I think it would probably look okay with maybe some white shorts or white jeans. Uh, the other thing that is a bit strange, maybe it's just me, but the arms, like, they're just like too big here. Like, I don't know what you call them. Like the hole's too big. And I feel like it kind of pulls whenever I go like this. Although how often do I walk around going like that? I just find it's a little too big in the chest and I really don't like the back. I didn't know that it had buttons all the way up the back, but I guess I have to get better at uh, paying more attention to the details on the website. I think this is called a placard or something. I'll put the name across the screen, to be honest. Didn't pay any attention to it. Now I know what it is. I'll try to avoid it in the future. I do not really like the look on me. So like I said, I'm still on the fence whether I send it back or just keep it. And I don't know, maybe it'll grow on me. But I wanted to show it to you anyways and be honest about how I feel about it. One thing that I really do like about this top though is that it gives full coverage in the front and in the back. This would be a perfect top to go with leggings if you want to hide your butt. So here's me in my Canadian tuxedo. This top I really love and you may have seen it if you watched my makeup video last week where I was wearing it. I wanted to try some horizontal stripes. Now typically when you are apple shape, if you're gonna wear a stripe, it should be a vertical stripe. But I knew from past experience that if I can get a very thin horizontal stripe in the right color, it is flattering. So I went out on a whim and I ordered this shirt and I'm glad that I did because I find it very flattering, it's fun. Uh, it's going to be great for spring and it's going to look great under 
a denim jacket, which I'm going to show you in a bit, or even like a uh, navy sweater. This top has a lot going for it. It is available in blue, green, and a pinkish red, I believe. Um, I do like the V-neck. You know that that is my favorite neckline for myself. I also like that the sleeves are longer. I like that uh, when a t-shirt goes to the elbow or just above the elbow because it hides like any bat wings. And I love the smocking detail. Uh, it just adds a bit of a feminine touch with a little ruffle. I love that it covers the back. I think it's longer in the back than it is in the front, but it is still the right length. The length that I always like to get it is one that fits uh, it falls below the lower hip. So really like this. I think it's cute. And I think that if you can find a tiny stripe, it's something that can work for us because myself, I've tried vertical stripes and I do not like them. I myself would stay away from any stripe larger than this. It's just not going to be flattering on me. So this is a first for me. I bought a jean jacket. I have never owned a jean jacket in my life. I've just always felt that they made me look larger than what I am, but I have to admit this one is growing on me. I do wish that it was a tad bit longer, but the thing that I'm noticing with denim jackets this season that they're coming in all different lengths and they have some pretty colorful ones too. So I think this is a cool look. You can throw it on with like this uh, horizontal stripe top that I'm wearing. It helps to camouflage the stripe if you're not feeling comfortable wearing one. And the next top that I'm going to show you, which is very vibrant and way out of my comfort zone, but I love it, looks perfect with this denim jacket. By the way, this is in a petite size, so they do have the petite size. And as of today, when I'm filming this video, Talbots has a 25% off sale. This top, I can't remember if I showed it in a haul, but I wanted to show it to you with a jean jacket. But first, this top is so comfortable. It's from the T by Talbots line. I looked at it and I thought about it for a couple of weeks and then I finally just decided to go for it. And I'm so happy that I did because it's just really cheery. And I love that it's different shades of blue but they call this a peachy pink. To me, it's more of a peach and I'm not crazy about peach, but you know, I think in a top like this, it's kind of a nice pop of color for late winter, early spring. The material is very, very soft. You can tell that it's very high quality material. I love again that it has like a scalloped hem. It's a little bit longer in the back, so it covers up the butt. Very, very pleased with this T by Talbot spine. So I just wanted to show you what the top looks like with the jean jacket. It's just fresh looking. You know, I'm so tired of winter in the snow. I can't wait to wear lighter layers um, and pops of color. This is just really cute. And I'm still wearing the crops by Chico's and I'm not happy with them. So sending the dress and the uh, crops back to Chico's. Sadly, they didn't work for me, but I just wanted to give you this quick little haul try on video and show you what I got. So if you want to see more fashion videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And in the meantime, if you haven't checked out my amazing spring 2023 fashion trends video for apple shaped women, go check out that video and I'll see you over there. Have a great day. Bye.